we'd like to determine the chromatic polynomial and the chromatic number for the graph. Start by dividing the graph in these two nodes. This is equivalent to multiplying the two parts and dividing by p at our k2 and lambda, where the 2 comes from the number of nodes that the graph is separated in. And the whole expression is equal to lambda times lambda minus 1. Now take this subgraph and divide it into two separate graphs. Since it's separated in two points, it will give us the division p at our k2 and lambda. Since every node in this graph has an edge to all the other nodes, this is a fully connected graph with three nodes, giving us p at our k3 and lambda that is equal to this. Now we only have these two subgraphs left to break down. If we want to remove the connection between these two points, we can do that if we then subtract a graph with those same points conjoined instead. This is good because it's giving us a fully connected graph with three nodes and a tree with four nodes. Where this four comes from the number of nodes. We'll now combine the information from the subgraphs to get the chromatic polynomial for the full graph. These two are the same, so we'll combine them with the power of 2. We'll break out lambda times lambda minus 1 to the power of 2, so that we can get rid of the division. And with some more basic algebra, we eventually get the chromatic polynomial that we've been looking for. We'll now use that to determine the chromatic number by finding the lowest positive lambda such that it is equal to or greater than 1. This is not the case for 1 nor 2. But it does work for 3, which means our chromatic number is 3.